Hey everyone, I'm Jay. And I'm Sean. And we're home from the cottage and ugh, we have to rough it by enjoying our beautiful backyard. <laughs> it's tough. <sighs> but guess what? What? We watched a movie. Oh, that. We wasted no time at all. It's true. It piled uh, up while we were gone. It, you know what? It didn't pile up at all. It's the <laughs> it's saddest not, thing. That There's is sad. almost nothing new to entice us back. And uh, the new one we did watch, I was going to say, not that great. I would agree. Okay, so it's called Latte and the Magic Waterstone. Good remembering. I'm trying real hard. It is a German animated film recently released on Netflix. Uh, we watched it in English, of course. So We did. It's Seamless. A, yes. Um, uh, I do wonder if it's any funnier in German. I doubt it's German. <laughs> I doubt it's yeah, funny. I knew you would say that. <laughs> I did know you would say that. I was kind of setting you up to <laughs> be a terrible person. <laughs> um, so, it is about a little forced, a forced clearing of animals who live in a community. Uh, the one squirrel, you know, is, is a big part of the community, and then the hedgehog named Latte is kind of on the outskirts of it. Even though she's a young hedgehog, she's on her own, and she doesn't feel like she's ever really been accepted. Um, and the thing about this community of animals is they're all kind of stressed because their water source has been drying up. They've only got four pumpkins full of water left. It's not very much. It's not very much. Um, so it, it, it's, there's, it's a stressful time. They're having lots of community meetings about it. Um, but what can you do? And then one day, this little squirrel notices that Latte, the hedgehog, has a little seashell of water all to herself. And he's just, he's really mad because the water in their community is communal and that water belongs to the pumpkins. And she says, well, when have I ever gotten anything out of the pumpkins? Apparently they won't even supply her, which is really sad when you yes, think it about is. it, but they don't really want to give you a lot of time to think about it. They're just, this is just how it is in Germany. <laughs> you could be mean to the little hedgehogs and not even, uh, not give her water, but definitely steal her water. <laughs> so I don't know. It was a weird, I thought it was a weird way to start off a kid's movie. Yeah, it was. Just really sad and Anyways, so these two, the squirrel and the hedgehog, sort of grapple over the one little seashell worth of water, and in doing so, they end up spilling an entire pumpkin worth of water. And then some. Yeah. They break the pumpkin, and they jump out, and they knock over everything else. So these are very dire days. Um, luckily, a weird crow... <laughs> visits the community just as they're deciding like the fate of of the hedgehog no of the squirrel isn't it the, squ the, squirrel, the squirrel takes the blame yes no because the hedgehog immediately knows like everything's going to be blamed on her and she's not wrong but the squirrel comes forward and takes the blame all on himself which is a very nice thing but i think this has opened his eyes to the fact that the maybe they have bias. been yeah yes. that's right <laughs> that's right um, but then the crow lands and he starts telling them this tall tale about a magic water stone and how up on Bear Mountain the Bear King took the water stone for himself and now the rest of the forest has nothing. So, this, well the hedgehog anyways decides the only way to really save the village is to go get that magic water stone. Even though you will have to traverse the perils of I don't know, wolf... A desert and... Wolf town yeah. and coyote... <laughs> no, lynx. lynx. Yeah. <laughs> Just to get to the... Guess what? The, the bears. bears. <laughs> the bear mountain is full of bears. So if you survive the wolves and the lynxes... So you're the getting bears. it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not great. So anyways, the hedgehog and the squirrel end up on this odyssey for water. And it is indeed perilous. Yeah. Uh, but it is also a time of bonding and friendship and yeah, getting to know team. one another and battling the odds. <laughs> yeah. Making cockeyed friends with toads. Oh, yeah. 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 
I did not know what to make of that. It was uncomfortable. It was a weird, yeah, a weird little time. Anyways, yeah, how yeah. is this a kid's movie? Where did yeah. this come from? It's a weird story. It's in exceedingly simple. Like, it's really oh, yeah. just going to get a water stone. That, that may or may exists. not exist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very like good guys versus bad guys. Uh, you know, my goodness. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward. Yeah, it didn't really seem to much think about the audience. It what, Like, it didn't have a lot of... I mean, it, I guess it's got action in a, you know, a very predictable and linear way. A young kid's kind of journey. Oh yeah, it's easy to follow. But it's certain yes, yes, it really is. It's very easy to follow. But it's certainly not as frenetic or as colorful as a lot of the children's movies we see coming out of America. That's true. There is for this better is and a for worse. Yeah. Yes. Um I did like the part in the bear cave where like the mushrooms and the crystals seem to glow a little bit. I thought that was kind of a nice touch. Although I'm not sure that kids will really appreciate that um but otherwise there was not much in this movie for me no i have to or say me. <laughs> yeah not a lot of laughs not a lot of pop songs no <laughs> I know, there all the aren't. things i usually <laughs> complain about guys i'm complaining that they're not in this movie but there but was just no nothing... queen montage <laughs> there's just nothing to really hold your attention or to make the movie stand out at all i guess no there's not um you know, the characters, we don't know much about them. And what we do know is very unsatisfying. Because, like, the, the, the hedgehog is kind of sad to be on her own. She doesn't know any other hedgehogs. She, she kind of makes up stories about where her dad is. Um, but she's going to die alone. <laughs> that's, that's just the hedgehog way, I guess. Apparently it is. So, it, you know... In a lot of ways, it makes you sad and never makes you unsad, which is, I think... If you actually think about it, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you don't have to think about it. This movie, I think, didn't think about it either. <laughs> no, it didn't. <laughs> it felt very comfortable leaving a lot of depressing loose ends. Um, That's the German way, I think. <laughs> yes. So, whether you die of loneliness or thirst, I guess it's up to you. Either way, it's <laughs> yeah. basically the same. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Better make Enjoy friends with childhood. wolves or bears. Yeah, that's the thing. It is, it's a t boy. The people over there, they really, they really had no love of children. A lot of those fairy no. tales are pretty. Oh bleak. yeah, the kids getting cooked. <laughs> so I think this that's is a classic this is German a, tale. This almost is almost mild in comparison oh, to some of those yes. childhood themes. So yep. <laughs> maybe we should count ourselves lucky. They're getting closer, I suppose. Maybe we can meet in the middle somewhere. Maybe. A little maybe more humor, a little more music, but maybe not a full montage. Even just a family for a little, a little, a little hedgehog. Yeah, we'll take named it. Name Latte. For maybe no in reason. The Why is her name Latte? There's no irony about it. No. It's just her name. It's just her name. I guess it's a name. Before it was a drink, it was a name. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the moral of the story. Uh, let us know if you saw it and if you uh, felt any sort of thirst for a latte. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.